Japanese and the North Americans make cars. Well, that's right, Ted. They're both family cars, but one is absolutely huge and the other's quite compact. Let's talk about the Stanza first. Okay, well, the Stanza is one of these bland but competent machines that seems to have got lost in a maze of rivals, some of which aren't nearly as nice. The Stanza was completely upgraded during Nissan's recent range-wide flurry of model changes. Nissan has been making market gains in some parts of North America recently, and the Stanza played a big role in this turnaround. While abandoning the square-cut lines of the earlier model, the new car is still a very straightforward styling job and breaks no new ground. Of standard three-box configuration, it has smooth rounded lines, lots of glass for an airy cabin and tidy flush-fitting halogen headlights. It's a cautious piece of design, in contrast to some of Nissan's exciting concept cars seen at recent auto shows. Subdued styling is all very well, but this may have cost Stanza some sales. But put aside styling and you have a car that's very hard to find fault with. Power comes from an engine Nissan claims is the most powerful in its class with 138 horsepower. It's a 2.4 litre 12 valve unit with lots of torque to back up its smoothness and response. Our test car was equipped with a four-speed automatic transmission and this robbed the stanza of some of its zip. The automatic is good enough but the optional five-speed makes better use of the high revving four. Despite its staid looks though, the Stanza is surprisingly sporty. You'll reach 100 kilometers per hour in around 10 seconds. And fuel economy is pretty good at about 9.5 liters per 100 kilometers for all around driving. Stanza started around $15,000. And Nissan's basic warranty is three years or 80,000 kilometers. The front wheel drive Stanza is equipped with Nissan's innovative viscous coupling limited slip front differential. Without getting mired in technical details, this award winning concept helps traction cornering and straight line stability on slippery roads, a great safety bonus. Basic Stanzas have a disc drum brake combination with ABS available as an option. Add ABS to traction control and you've got one of the safest small sedans on the market. Suspension is independent front and rear, so handling is quite agile. Like other recent Nissans, this car is exceptionally well planned and stylish inside. Seats are firm and supportive, but comfortable all the same. Upholstery material is a tasteful and practical cloth, which thankfully lacks those old-fashioned pleats which still linger on some makes. Rear seats fold in 60-40 fashion for long loads. A decent set of instruments is fitted to all models, and most controls are intelligently placed and easy to reach. Radio and heater, though, require a slight stretch of the fingertips to get at. The window lift and door lock panel is exceptionally well designed, and there's an instant down mode for the driver's side window. Interior stowage is good, but a small bin below the radio shed its contents with every dab of the accelerator. Stanza is one of those cars that feels right as soon as you get behind the wheel. Nissan does not have the problems some makers seem to experience when it comes to getting the relationship right between steering wheel, pedals and driver's seat. The engine hums readily, cornering is predictable and steering is accurate with just the right amount of assist. If you're shopping in this market slot, be prepared to start a lengthy list. Japanese models include the Honda Accord, Mazda 626, Subaru Legacy, Acura Integra, Toyota Camry, the Hyundai Sonata and VW Passat. Domestic products within price range include the Chrysler Dynasty, Chevy Corsica, Ford Taurus, Dodge Spirit, Pontiac Grand Am and Oldsmobile Cutlass Calais. Well, Ted, I give this a cautious three-quarters of a tank for driving dollar value. Yeah, this car is like one of those that's always a bridesmaid, never a bride. It should be where the Accord and the Camry are, but there's some, something about it that it just... I don't know what... It's, it's well, I too think that, bland, I think, Yeah, is it is problem. bland. I think that's its problem. So it's a wonderfully competent little car, mm -hmm. but it's very bland. And when you look at some of the things that Nissan's been doing lately, experimentally speaking, mm -hmm. and at shows and so forth, all kinds of them, they should really let their designers loose with this car. I agree. And, yeah. and give them some, some... It's a very good freedom. car. It has some excellent engineering features. For example, the, um, the viscous front coupling. Well, what that does, in essence, is that removes front wheel spin, spin during acceleration on slippery surfaces. Not many front drive cars have it, and it's a very good feature to have. It's a very good feature. And, of course, as a 
family, I'm very big on safety features on family cars. This is a family car, and four-wheel drive is mm. great on family cars yeah. because it gives you that extra safety. But this, I've tried uh, in various very bad conditions this kind of system, uh, traction control system, and it really works, and yeah. it, it's very safe. I'm surprised this car doesn't have airbags. For example, the, uh, the Plymouth Acclaim and Dodge uh, Spirit have airbags as standard equipment. This one should have airbags, too, considering it should, that it yeah. is a family sedan. It should. Th there's, there's several uh, North American products now to have airbags as standard, even quite low-priced yeah. ones. I also want to stress that this is not a bad car. I don't want to give people the wrong idea. This is a good little car. It's just that it's like... No question. It's, like, it's, it's like, just a little, like little vanilla-flavored yeah. car, and, yeah. and it, it's, it's, it, it looks okay. Mm -hmm. And I often think of it, it's a good replacement for the old Audi 4000, which mm -hmm. was kind of lost forever when they went up market. Right. But um, it looks a little bit like that kind of razor yeah. edge design, not I very swoopy looking. I also found the engine to be a little bit on the buzzy side. When you get up at highway speed, I just felt that it made a little too much noise. I, I don't think it's the engine itself. I think it's just a lack of insulation. Well, in the it's quite part. big for a four. I think any yeah. four over two liters is, is kind of difficult, Problems. unless it's got a uh, balance shaft system, much like Saab used is to really yeah. smooth it down, mm -hmm. and this doesn't. Okay, let's sum up here. Because we didn't like about this, the radio and heater location, hard to get at. Bland styling, can't do much about that. But lots of things on the plus side. The engine was very good. Interior was excellent, well layered and comfortable. Traction control, a great safety feature. Driving dollar value, three quarters of a tank, really because it's kind of a little too bland for us. Yeah, so it's a good car, but a little bland. Stay with us, we'll be right back.